So my name is Adam Richards. Uh, I am the Director of Emergency Services for Providence Healthcare. So uh, I work with the emergency rooms um, in Spokane. Uh, I'm also a member of the Healthcare Coalition in our, we're, we're blessed, is it, oh it worked, was that you or me? Perfect, it worked. We're blessed in our area to have a great healthcare coalition with a, a mission to respond and recover and help us through crisis and difficult situations and disasters. Um, you know, we work together as a community to be better prepared, um, to know how we're going to respond, what we're going to do. This is another step in that direction in, in making our responses better. The healthcare coalitions have, have helped with a variety of things in our region. We've done exercise planning, um, situational awareness, uh, networking, resources, uh, all sorts of things. That's part of being part of this community and this region. Geographically, if you look at our region, Region 9, the light-colored region on your, your right there, the East Region Number 9, uh, the county consists of, uh, ten, or the, the region consists of nine counties, or ten counties, excuse me, three tribes. We're bordered on three sides by, obviously you can see Washington on the left, but Idaho, Oregon, and Canada. The rough geographic size of, the, of this region is about a third of the state of Washington. So our geography is fairly complex. We cover a lot of area, which makes this all the more challenging. And we kind of think about why, you know, why crisis standards of care? Why a healthcare coalition? Why do we do all this organizing and planning in our region? It's the beautiful Pacific Northwest. Nothing ever happens here. I shamelessly borrowed this slide from Daryl who put this together, but I thought it was a great visual. You know, everything up there on the slide are things that have happened in our area. You know, some of the pictures may not exactly represent uh, Spokane or our area, you know, that, that slide of the freeway. We're not quite 10 lanes wide, but we have I-90 that runs through our area. Um, you can see the fires. We had the firestorm. Uh, we've had ice storm. You can see a lot of these natural disasters that we've had in our area. The backpack bomber that was here in Spokane at the Martin Luther King um, parade. These things could, would, or may happen in our area. So this is all the more reason we need to plan and prepare. We've had this, we've had these situations occur. Our most recent past, right here in front of us. Uh, this year, or within the last 12 months, we've had the Shriners bomb threat. We had windstorm. Uh, this, the firestorms from uh, the, the fires last summer where we had the air quality impact, Pacific recycling, these are all right here in our region. These things happen quite a bit. So that's kind of, you know, that's why we're here today to talk about, you know, what do we need to be thinking about? There's a lot of press about Bach and Crude. Um, these events are, are things that we need to prepare for and be ready for. So uh, I'm very excited uh, to have everybody here today. and. Enjoy the presentation. Erica Henry with the Department of Health is going to come up next.